Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to sign up for the new Schwab API, and I'll run through an example on how to get quotes, just so that you can verify that the code is working properly. So if you haven't done so already, you need to go to developer.schwab.com and create an account. Now, when you log in, you'll be taken to your dashboard. We're gonna want to create an app. Now, I already created one, but it's still pending for approval. So I'll go over the steps on creating one. So just click on the create an app button, and on the first drop down menu, I went ahead and clicked both. So I want accounts and training production and market data production. In the second box, I typed in 120, which is at the highest end of the range. In regards to the request I'm trying to make per minute, and these are order related requests. It doesn't say anything about market data requests, but I assume it will be something similar. Now the next box, you just wanna type in an app name. So we'll type in test. The next box is optional. And for the callback URL, we're gonna type in this one, which is the local host. Once these fields are filled out, we're gonna hit create. So it looks like I can create another one. And that's how I filled in mine. Unfortunately, I do have to wait until my app is approved in order for me to have full access. But in the meantime, we can go through the documentation and get familiarized with the code and request. And I'll show you how to test things out. So if you go to API products, we're gonna to go to the Trader API individual. We're gonna to go to market data production and we see that we do have this endpoint to use. So in order to get quotes, I'm gonna click on this drop down menu. You can test things out, but it will give you an error because we haven't authenticated anything, but we can always authenticate online. So the way to do that is we're gonna click on this lock button. We do have some useful URLs that I plan to use, but for now we just wanna familiarize ourselves with this API. So what you wanna do is click authorize, and this will take you to the Schwab landing page where you sign in into your accounts. So just follow the steps. We're gonna accept the terms and conditions. We're gonna click on accept. We're gonna select our accounts that we wanna have access to through the API. We're gonna click on done. Once you have authenticated, you can go ahead and close this and test using a couple of different symbols. So we're gonna click on try it out and we're gonna change a couple of symbols. So we'll see if it'll take it once we hit execute. So it looks like we were able to execute it. Now from here, we have a couple of things which are useful and I'm gonna copy my bearer token. And I believe these are good for 30 minutes. And we're gonna to go to our R script. Now here's where you would paste your bear token. So I have these lines blocked off just so that it doesn't overwrite them. So I'll go ahead and assign my bear token. And for now we don't need all of these packages except for HTTR. And you can exclude the callback URL as we won't need it to get a simple quote. Now in the following block, I have a couple of functions. Our first function is to build the option symbol by passing in our underlying symbol, the expiration, the type, and the strike. It'll get it in the same format required by the API. And we're gonna test a couple of symbols, including stock, index, and option symbol, a futures and forex symbol. We're gonna combine all of these symbols and we're gonna collapse by a comma and we're gonna pass that into the second function. So here we have built our URL. We're gonna send a get request and only if the status code for the page is 200, we're gonna extract the page contents. Otherwise, it's gonna print out it failed to get the quote along with the status code for the page. So it'll go ahead and return the data. So let's try and run this block. And we'll take a look at table. So it looks like it didn't like our option symbol, which I have to work out the errors for, but we were able to get quotes for all of these symbols and see that the real time is set to true. And we got a total of 56 columns. So this is a work in progress. As soon as my app is approved, I'll show you guys how to automate the process so that you can automatically get your bearer token. Well guys, this concludes the video for now. I'll provide more details as soon as I have full access. I'll leave a link down in the description area to my Patreon where you can find the script. Please consider subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so already. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.